Hey guys, I wanted to create this video as an extension of the walk the dog video I created a little while ago. Uh, there's something I didn't cover that I wanted to make sure I did go over. And the issue I want to cover is a really common one when you're starting out. And it's basically when your foot that is staying in the middle of the board, so in my case my left foot, when that foot slides off the board when you're trying to do the pivot and walk the dog uh, maneuver. So let me try some of these switch and you can see these are not going to look good. The main way to overcome this is to really go slow with the walk the dog motion. And it might be actually more difficult, or at least it might feel like it's more difficult to go slow than to go fast. But going slow will really help you get in better control and feel how to basically position your weight and move on your board when you're learning this. And there's a good strategy you can use to get better, and that involves tracking your performance as you learn this trick. So when you start learning these, just try and get one good walk the dog, and a full walk the dog would be the cross step and pivot. Try to get at least 10 good walk the dogs every session. The more the better. Once it takes you a relatively quick amount of time to get 10 good walk the dogs just by themselves, start linking them. And by that I mean try to get at least 10 back to back walk the dogs, so do two in a row smoothly every session. And it's going to be hard, but as you practice more and more, you will start getting better and getting those 10 quicker. And again, it doesn't have to be 10, it could be more, um, but try and do at least 10. Once you start doing those more consistently, then try and do three. And start doing more and more and adding on as you get more, consi more consistent with the trick. When you're doing this, don't count the sloppy walk the dogs. Only count the ones that are smooth and in control. That'll help you get better at a proper motion. And it might feel like you're not making progress, but if you take a notebook with you when you skate, you could actually write down, um, you know, how many, how long it took you to get 10, or how many you're able to link together. And over time, again, over, over the course of weeks and months, you'll start to see some improvement. And some people will improve faster than others, so don't get discouraged if it's taking a while, because uh, it is an awkward motion. But again, just be patient with it, take it slowly, and don't try and do too much too soon. So I hope this helps clear things up a little bit on the walk the dog tutorial and good luck learning it.